So I'll allow you guys to join the conversation that Ray <laughs> and I were just having. I said, Ray, like if NASA said they needed a meteorologist to go to space and like study weather stuff, would you go? And tell them your answer. I said I'd, I would love to, but but uh, Mrs. Pentland probably wouldn't want me to go. And I'd be too scared. Josh Taylor, Josh, would you go to space? And Josh says, yeah, he could study sports up there. I don't know. Yeah. See if you could play basketball or something in space. <laughs> um, anyway, what's the deal, Ray, with uh, back here on Earth? Um, in terms of weather. Well, we're going to have some showers. Dribbling would just be holding on to the ball. <laughs> Basketball in space. Yeah. <laughs> 71 uh, is the current temperature in Pittsburgh. 63 containing. This is a, a nice Friday evening. We have the low humidity, although it's been inching up ever so slowly. And with it, uh, very comfortable temperatures. And we're not going to fall off too incredibly much from this point. I think most of us in the low to mid 60s by the time we get to tomorrow morning. But we've had the clouds sweep over the sky and temperatures as a result are going to hold a little more steady here in the next few hours. So it's going to be a slow drop, but we'll get down to about 65 here in town and then we'll warm up quite quickly tomorrow. But also tomorrow we're going to see some sprinkles early on. These are going to be trying to inch in here over the next couple of hours. Haven't been getting any real observations from the Cleveland area of, of rainfall coming into play, but it's certainly something uh, we're going to need to watch because as this cycles through here, it's going to interact with some of the drier air and the front part of this is going to be just some very light sprinkles. If anything, even makes it to the ground, but the back edge has a better shot and that's going to be arriving early tomorrow morning. So let's get into future cast here and you can see how this works out uh, 7 a.m. Some just light rain trying to cross over the border. We'll get these mainly uh, spotty sprinkles is what they're going to equate to tomorrow morning. And I think a good chunk of the day is going to be dry. We'll get some peaks of sunshine in there for your Saturday. And then during the afternoon and evening, we could have a quick little passing shower, but this does not look to be anything too heavy. Now, I think the better chances for rain and thunderstorms start to show up on Sunday, but mainly later on Sunday because this is 8 a.m. We have some clouds in play, but the rain's still back in Ohio. And then we're going to get that cycling through here. And you'll notice that the initial batch is just going to be these hit or miss things going on during the daylight hours. But Sunday night and Monday, we get a better shot at this all coming together and moving through the region and it looks like Monday is going to be the wetter day of the next three. So tomorrow isolated sprinkles as uh, we head through, especially the early part of the day. Sunday, some hit or miss uh, showers and thunderstorms and then the more widespread stuff around on Monday. So tonight, most of us are going down to the low to mid 60s. Many of the temperatures are already into the mid 60s, so everyone's going to lose about another five degrees between now and tomorrow morning, and that takes Pittsburgh down to 65. Mostly cloudy with those sprinkles trying to develop early in the day. Tomorrow, 84. After those early clouds and sprinkle chances, we're going to see some sunshine trying to peak out. Now, the peaks of sunshine look to be pretty late in the day. You can see four, five, six o'clock. Those partly cloudy skies for a little bit, but a very cloudy start. Some chips or some breaks in the clouds as we continue through the day. Next seven, we go from temperatures in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow and Sunday to upper 70s with those storms scattered around. It's going to be some rain cooled air hanging around on Monday, but we bounce back very, very quickly. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s. I think the heat and humidity combo that we're getting Tuesday and Wednesday could lead to a few little pop ups trying to develop.